On now to our very first story, and uh, buses carrying 202 foreigners have been intercepted by the Aflao Immigration Service upon a tip-off. The foreigners, made up of women with children as well as some elderly persons, are believed to have been hailing from Niger. Aflao Sector Commander of the Immigration Service Assistant Commissioner Frederick Ba-Dodu is urging the border community members to support the task force and volunteer information in order to help clear all the illegal activities, especially those entering the country illegally. He joins us now on the phone with uh, Mo. Thank you very much for, for, for joining us uh, right here. Uh, so we'd like to find out from you thus far, what is the latest on this uh, particular situation as you urge uh, those in the border community to support your cause? Yeah, uh, good morning, uh, Mabara. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to to have me on the line. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, like uh, I spoke with your team yesterday, uh, the migrants have been sent back to 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 to, to Lumi. Mm. That was uh, their last point of uh, uh, vacation uh, to Ghana. Mm. So and that's so the, the situation now. Right, and, and to, to prevent further uh, infiltration, we've had quite a number of those on the list yeah. that you mentioned from neighboring countries, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, among others. Uh, what yeah. are the moves to prevent um, future infiltration of same into our country? Yes, uh, let me use your medium uh, to uh, thank and then uh, congratulate uh, the patrol teams that uh, we are put in place now. Uh, apart from the, the static uh, operation that we are doing uh, by the combined uh, uh, team of uh, security services, immigration, customs, police, and the Ghana Armed Forces, we put up, uh, put together another uh, three strong teams. One team from the Defense Intelligence of the Ghana Armed Forces, then another team from the uh, National Intelligence Bureau uh -huh, to have another uh, that's our special team, and then the immigration. Also, we have uh, another team. Uh, they are patrolling and they're making uh, snap checks and then gathering intelligence and then picking these people who have been able to uh, uh, find their way uh, into Afra and then right into other parts of Ghana. So uh, let me use some video to thank them very much for the mm -hmm. cooperation mm -hmm. from the three strong uh, uh, teams that have been put in place for the operational work on the ground. Mr. Dodu, you, you, you've spoken about all these uh, systems uh, in place, the groups from the different uh, security services, but looking at the porous nature of our borders, uh, how much of a concern is it for you? How, how much of a problem is it in dealing with the situation? Uh, yes, uh, you, you, you've uh, hit the nail right on the head, but mm. uh, the, 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 border, the border is very porous. Mm. That is true, yes. If uh, you've not been there before, you might not appreciate uh, uh, the challenge. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, like I mentioned to you, uh, we can cover the whole area mm -hmm. looking at the stretch. So that is why we put, uh, we put uh, this second uh, piece of uh, intercepting, uh, intercepting uh, those who have been able to uh, pass through uh, the flower. So when you get to Ativuta, we have immigration team there. Mm -hmm. Now another team has also been put at uh, the Keta, the uh, new Keta route because they use there mm. also. Then another team too has been also been put at the uh, uh, new uh, Georgia road. We have uh, another team there. Then the Defense Intelligence and then the National Intelligence Bureau are also within who are also uh, uh, taking intelligence and, and then taking them. But as for the stretch, mm. it is difficult for us to cover all the stretch. Right, right. Uh, maybe, maybe my final bit to you ahead of Christmas. Uh, yeah. are, are you foreseeing that there, there might be a, f a further spillover of some of these people entering the country ahead of you know the celebrations? And uh, what are your expectations in that respect? Yeah, we we, we anticipate that. You know, the okay. uh, Christmas is coming, hmm. and then uh, <laughs> a lot of them uh, from these our neighboring countries who would like to travel to Ghana, and even some transit into Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, secondly. Uh, our uh, those coming from Benin, Benin, Niger, and all some of these places, it is a seasonal movement that they do from their place of origin to other parts of uh, Ghana. 
some come as the farm uh, farm libres, some and to other uh, forms of uh, um, uh, 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 labor. So they move. If the borders uh, were to be opened, you see them uh, coming to to uh, 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 this part of the country. Some going to Sefi, as Coco, Coco and other, other other things. So it's a seasonal something that they do. Aha. Uh-huh. And then after the season, you see them uh, 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 returning or migrating back to uh, 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 their various uh, countries. But because the border is closed, that's why they are finding all means uh, 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 available for them to uh, uh, to enter. Yes. So we anticipate that they will be coming. So that is why we are also we also resolved mm. to uh, ensure that they uh, don't also allow them also to. Mr. Dodu, thank you for engaging us uh, uh, this morning. Uh, we, we also have the MC for K2 South, Maxwell Lugudor, who joins us with uh, more. Maxwell, thank you for joining the conversation. Now, the borders are supposed to be closed. Uh, how come we're having these cases there? Uh, good morning to your, your cherished listeners. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, let me take this opportunity first to uh, thank my security uh, personnel, especially the NIMB uh, agents and uh, uh, the military intelligence unit mm-hmm. with uh, the immigration and the police service. They are really doing a very, very, very hard work. Uh, the borders are close, but the problem or the challenges here in Ketu is the porous nature of our, our borders. There are a lot of uh, uh, unapproved routes that is very difficult to uh, uh, check on. Uh, it's not be easy. I had the opportunity to go around the, this unapproved route. There are a lot of challenges that I uh, recognize and, and I raise it uh, to the regional level. When you go through the unapproved route, you realize that the Togo side of uh, the border, they have these uh, uh, clean routes that you can drive on. Or when you are standing at this place, you can even see ahead of uh, uh, the other side. But uh, in, in Ghana side, we don't have those things. It's making our, our security agencies find it difficult to be going around all the time. However, uh, as Mr. Dodu just said, uh, there's a strong team that is uh, also patrolling uh, 24-7. So we're doing everything possible to stop these uh, illegal uh, people coming in. Uh, th- th- this could be indication that there are a lot more illegal persons uh, in the community. I mean, is that yes, something you, yes, you've, yes, you've yes. contemplated? If, if you have the opportunity to go around, you realize that it's, it's, it, there, there are a lot of work you have to do. Mm. Apart from that, uh, which I am even working on, most of our, our uh, street lights along the, the, the border, those places are not functioning. Right. Uh, some of the places, there are no lights. Uh, which is really scary if they put you there as a security uh, 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 personnel. So we're doing everything possible to, to quickly sort those things out. Mr. Lugudo, thank you for uh, engaging us on this matter. Thank you too for the opportunity. Uh, MCE Maxwell uh, Lugudo there.